Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. Uh, I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. As always, I ask that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. I pray that you call in only the purest of white light and remain in just that. Okay, I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light once again. Um, all evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. Anything the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you. It is returned to you. As I have said, so shall it be. The judgment is final. Let's see what our opening. Let's see what our opening angel number is this morning. It is six, which has to do with moving on, going, sailing on to calmer waters healing making some type of transition whether it be physical or spiritual um, this is kind of like recovering having a brand new start uh healing from the past taking all of the disappointments of the past with you in your heart but still taking the initiative to move on right to start a new journey you, it said your heart is your gift you are a natural born nurturer and have a great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. I am nurturing. Okay, that is absolutely wonderful. We have the four of wands out here. Some of you could be getting married. Someone could be getting married. Or you could have something here where you're about to partner up with someone. You could have a group of people that are fighting behind the scenes because a chapter is over and you are still getting, getting your harvest, your bounty. There's absolutely some type of battle that's going on behind the scenes. Uh, you could have a couple in here that's very impulsive. They do things. Um, they're very rash. They do things in a way that's just not logical. They have kind of set themselves up to fail. They're seeing the truth about a matter that things are not going in their favor. Um, they may want to reach out to you. You could have someone that wants to reach out to you um, to, I don't know, mend things with you, but it's not really mending things. These people need something to go in their favor, so they may want to communicate with you. Um, whatever this is, I'm telling you, and you are being protected. You are being secure. Um, so just be mindful of these people. There is a couple out here that invested in something they cannot get out of. Um, so they're kind of desperate right now, especially the masculine. There could be some type of spiritual thing that's going on where these people are sending some type of energy against you, working against you, and it's becoming a bit of a burden. These people stand to lose quite a lot. Uh, you are being protected your journey. So whatever you've been going through, you're literally almost at the finish line and your angels are stepping in to make sure that you arrive at your destination. And this is what people have been trying to block is to block you from arriving at your destination. Trying to tend to source you out here. Is it anything new though? No, you got to expect that because this is how comics move in Carmichael and they take that same mentality with them when they leave Carmichael because if they were in a perfect world, an ideal world for them, everywhere would be Carmichael. But when you have people like myself and other people out here working to maintain balance, everywhere cannot become Carmichael. Nobody wants that. Ew. Yuck. Absolutely not. Okay. So you are making it to your destination, honey. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. There's a whole battle going on behind the scenes. There's a whole battle going on behind the scenes. People are still trying to breadcrumb other people. They're all working against you to breadcrumb you. Um, but whatever they're doing is not going in their favor. The, the goal is to just have you out of balance. This is what they want to do, is to have you out of balance. Have you feeling uneasy? 
Someone may be wanting to come in to give you some type of breadcrumbing offer. It's going to lead to some type of ending for you. Don't do it. Do not do it. Don't accept anything from these people. It's like they know you accomplished something you were not meant to accomplish in their eyes. You've made it to a point where you should not have made it. It's, this is according to them. So someone knows that your new beginning is here. You're about to seal onto common waters. Someone said they had control over you. They don't. It was an illusion the whole time. They didn't realize it. There's a male practitioner in here that has some type of practice that he does. It's quite a grand show of manipulation. Someone presents themselves in like a King of Cups energy. This is not their energy. This is a facade. This is a facade. So someone may want to come in now because they know you're the queen of swords. You're sharp as heck. You see them for exactly who they are. They cannot manipulate you. They may want to come in now and breadcrumb you. Or they're paying for someone to come in and breadcrumb you. Okay? You have a queen of cups that's working against a, queen of, a king of cups out here. There's a lot of betrayals going on. This could be a husband and wife, brother and sister. Whatever this is, honey. Whatever this is, someone is betraying this King of Cups. Someone is betraying this King of Cups. Because he's content. He's made a decision of where he wants to be. He may be wanting to work with a different Queen of Queen of Pentacles. Whatever this is, it's just a whole lot. Honey, the last couple of days, these readings have been giving me a headache. It's like these people are trying to hide their energy, but it's like so prominent. It's so potent, you can't hide it. It's just too intense. They're, they're doing work behind the scenes. These people are doing work to shut someone's mind down, shut someone's heart down. It's not working. They're getting desperate because they think this is how they're going to be able to have and maintain control of you. They're not going to never have control. These people are living under some type of illusion, I'm telling you. There was some type of illusion that they actually believed that the work they were doing was keeping you subdued. You never were. Your angels have always been there. So they've been wasting their time with everything. Someone said, I did all this work for nothing. You absolutely did. I did all this work for nothing. I didn't gain nothing out of it. You don't, you didn't. You never were meant, was meant to. And those that they gain out of it, they're about to lose everything they gain and some and then some and more. Okay. This is absolutely ridiculous. Mm. This King of Cups here, this is someone who's a facade. This is a facade. He so he's betraying someone. Someone is betraying him. They're all taking turns on each other now. They're fighting amongst themselves. And someone in here is a narcissist. They think if they just keep going, it's this queen of pentacles. She thinks if she just keeps going, things are going to go in her favor. No, it's not. She's committed to ending someone. She's going to end herself. Someone is an airhead. She's an airhead. The only thing she's committed to is ending other people and someone specific. It's not going in your favor. You may want to sit your airhead itself down. When I say these people are desperate behind the scenes, they're desperate because they know what's about to happen to them. They know. You have people that may want to come in, give you some type of friendship offer, and this is to trap you. Do not accept any offer from these people. It is, I'm telling you, it is to trap you. This woman is still determined to end someone, even though she knows the battle is over. She's lost. She does not want to accept defeat. She's defeated. She got, this, she got defeated by a queen of cups. 
and this is something that's playing on her the queen of cups gets to move on she's trapped in something she can't get out of you made your own bed you dug your own grave i'm telling you the queen of cups get to move on the empress energy star see whoever this is they get to move on okay they get to seal on the karma waters so you all can do whatever you want to you're still going to be disappointed at the end these people are hiding their disappointments okay you see the moon and the five of cups out here they're hiding they're living in fear and, uncer and uncertainty anxiety this is what they wanted for you but they can't have it these people made their own bed dug their own graves the delusion was that the whole time they were doing this they were digging it and propping the bed and the pillows and blankets and everything. They thought they were doing that for you. Only to realize that they trapped themselves in something they cannot get out of. The future is uncertain for these people. Your future is certain. The universe already tells you once you move on out of this situation, your victory is, is secure. You have new opportunities coming ahead of you that you don't see. You don't see. And someone is taking some type of action that's going to lead to a loss for them. There is a couple in here or a masculine that stands to lose quite a lot. You're moving on with your life and he's about to be losing everything. They are about to be losing everything. This is a couple. One of them is an emperor. A reckless individual. Okay? And you have another emperor in here too that I'm getting is trying to clear things up, right? Fix things, balance things out. But honey, what's coming for these people, they can't even imagine, okay? They cannot imagine. Someone is working really hard to ensure victory for themselves. These people are still working, by the way. They're still working. Meanwhile, your victory is already here. It's already here. I'm telling you. It's already here. Someone is heartbroken because you're still being elevated. You're still being recognized. They said, why can't we hide this person? Yeah. Disappointments. They are disappointed. They wanted you to be disappointed. They wanted you to be disappointed, but they're the ones who are disappointed. And someone has said, why can't we hide this person? Why can't we dismantle them, dismantle their work? That's because you're being removed out of these people's energy. Someone is removing themselves as well from these people's energy. Wherever you're going, you're going to be connecting with your soul tribe, like-minded people, all kinds of beautiful things for you. Collective, we have those freaking four of wands out here. You're about to be reaping your harvest, your bounty, your reward. You've put in a lot of work. You've defeated your enemies. Okay? Some queen of cups in here, whatever action she took, it sealed the fate of this group. This woman is about to be going through some type of ending, or she's going through it that she cannot even imagine. She did not expect. Someone may be out here real desperate for money now. This is judgment by your ancestors. This is either what's going on or this is what she knows is coming up. Someone may be even collecting donations to cause an ending to a king of cups. Maybe this is like an ex for her. Someone she used to date, someone she's interested in, or someone she does not want connecting with you. She's upset because a masculine sees you as wish fulfillment. He's happy with you. Even though you two may not be together right now, he sees you as wish fulfillment he's content he said yeah i like that one i'm gonna go to that one i want to work with that one you and this masculine may have a contract together by the way so she's going through all of this this woman has committed herself to ending this masculine because he's still choosing to move forward with his life He's taking the necessary steps to bring balance into his life. This whole situation is just too much for him now. He wants out of it. Okay? He wants out of this situation. And she's determined to block him. But he's free to go. He's free to go. Someone is very pretentious in this, this story. Someone is very pretentious. That someone considers himself to be the masters of like the master of illusion she takes pride this is someone that walks around with their chest up high i don't have much chest like myself here 
but they'll put poke their chest out, that those stubs out, and they are bold, they're real happy, just thinking that they've defeated someone only for them to find out their victory was short lived. Someone is very toxic, impulsive, and they just do reckless stuff because they just want to make sure that someone else does not succeed. But every action they take, it's just making them look like a clown. Well, making them look like the clown that they are. Someone uses magic. She goes to a practitioner. Actually, a couple of people in here go to a practitioner. And the practitioner does not want to work with these people anymore because she sees them as liars. She sees them as liars. She said, you all told me this person was doing something to you. Stole something from you. You said this person was dark. This person is not dark. You're the dark ones. So she may be returning a lot of energies back to them. So they may not understand why their lives are going the way they are. They're blaming you for it. But actually, it's just balance being brought into a situation. Okay? Just balance being brought into a situation. And this King of Cups, he's taking action to bring balance into his life. Yeah, and they're going through endings. You do have a King of Cups in here as well that pretends to be in the upright. Someone who acts like they're a higher fan, a religious character. He's not. He's reckless. Not everybody that says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. That's one of those. Okay, these people are burdened behind the scenes. They worry. They're like, we're doing all of this. Why is this person not worried? Why are they not crying? Uh, why are they not freaking out? Why are they still calm? They're taking desperate actions now. Desperate actions. That someone may want to come in and uh, just do you something. But you are protected. Like these people are very desperate behind the scenes now. Making impulsive actions. Saying any and everything. It is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Mm. Lord has mercy. Mm -mm. I'm telling you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Excuse me. Someone thought they were going to come in and give you some type of friendship, extend you an olive branch, and you were going to accept it. They were rejected. And they're not happy about this. They were rejected. Is that someone having a whole plan? I'm going to go in. We're going to reconnect. I'm going to tell them how sorry I am. Of course, I don't really give a damn. But with how things are going in my life, I feel like this is the best option. This person didn't even get to make it to your energy. They were shut down. You may have blocked someone and you don't even know that this was the person that was coming in to start this whole cycle over again. Nah. Keep your distance. Yeah. They were coming in to start this whole cycle again. And in type of stability, joy, healing you've achieved, they were coming in to dismantle it. This is you, you, you. <laughs> yeah. Oops. There's a practitioner in here. This King of Swords, I'm getting practitioner. I am getting practitioner. This is someone that takes pride in their work. This is someone that takes pride in their work. Except things are not going accordingly. Someone made some type of bold move, some type of decision. It's not going in his favor. Someone thought they still had control over you now they don't know what to do because they're finding out that they don't have any control over you they never had any control over you because you're someone independent self-sufficient you don't rely on other people for anything you rely on the most high and now someone is lost they're confused they said what in the world I thought I had control over this person they're getting back to the drawing board with the rest of the roaches to figure something out. How are we gonna survive without our heads? We can only do this for so long. What do we do? Oop, oop, 
Oop. Practitioner, didn't I tell you? That man right there, he's a practitioner. He was coming in to cause some type of illusion that you two were friends. You, you're not friends. You know that. Someone is embarrassed because you see them for exactly who they are. Someone is used to causing facades, manipulating people, getting people to believe that they are friends with them. They want to help you out. You know, like those old school cats, they are helping you, but really trapping you. Why am I saying trap? They're trapping you. These are the types of people you accept help from them. You're bonded to them for a long time. This starts a whole new cycle. Let's say you're going through something. Someone comes and they they want to understand what you're going through. So you sit there and you under and you explain to them what you're going through, your personal business and things like that. And they say, "Oh well, you know, if you ever need help, you know, I'm here for you. You can give, you can ask me for assistance. I don't mind. You know, the people um, that I'm around in my life, my family, my friends, and." colleagues you know i do this for them do that for them all of those people are bonded to that person they cannot leave him because you know what they owe him money and he's using that against them when they try to pay him he's like, oh no it's okay you don't have to do that but the whole time he's telling them to do things that they don't want to do that's how it's set up this is what someone wanted to do to you honey queen of cups and they're not able to because you see right through this person and they don't know how it is that you see right through them. You are the last person this person accept, uh, expected to see through them. And just like they misjudged you, honey, it's coming to bite them in the behind. Someone does not understand you are just as gifted and talented as they are. You had someone figure out the whole time you were around them, some of you, and they didn't even know. And you just let them keep going on and making a fool out of themselves. The whole time. Honey, this, that's something I pride myself in. I'm sorry. Acting like I don't know what a karmic person is doing, I take pride in that. I'll let you just keep on going. Absolutely. I'm not going to fuss about it. You'll never know that I know. That's something like this is going on. Someone didn't know you knew who they were. They're like, how is this person knowing? How is it that they see what I'm doing or who I am? No one has figured him out before. This is what he does. He'll get you comfortable around him. The devil comes with a soft-spoken voice. That's what I just heard. That's what I just heard. The devil comes with a soft-spoken voice. He'll make you feel comfortable around him. That's what a lot of workers do, experienced dark workers. They're quick to throw that family car. We're family. We're friends. We look out for each other. No, you're not. They're trapped. This is a practitioner. That king of swords is a practitioner. Now he's trying to decide how he's going to come into your energy because you're very independent. You're too healed for someone to fool around with. You're too balanced. You're too balanced for someone. Too sharp. I'm telling you. You are too sharp for someone. They're not able to manipulate you like they've able to, able to be, like they've been able to manipulate other people. And they've manipulated a whole lot of people. A whole lot of people. And he's embarrassed that little old you, Queen of Cups, you have him figured out. Then there's a reason why the Queen of Cups would be the one to figure this person out. Queen of Cups are very intuitive. Your gift of discernment and intuition, Queen of Cups, is so sharp, it's terrifying for this man. Because before he even makes a move, you already know. And he don't know what to make of it, how to handle you, what to do. So he's getting desperate behind the scenes. He accepted that money to do something. He don't know what to do, I'm telling you. This man does not know what to do. Whoever he's working with is confused as well. 
How are you protected? How are you protecting yourself from them? It's your ancestors that are protecting you. And you know this man so well that whatever he does now is just the child's play. You're looking at him like, what in the world is wrong with you? Are you dumb? Like you see someone like they have some type of mental condition. They have to. Because these people are doing some really ridiculous things behind the scenes. <laughs> someone has trapped a lot of people to him for a long time. Especially feminine energies. Yes, I'm telling you. You know too much about this masculine. And you don't even know him on a personal level. You see him and you just see what he's about. You know one of those situations where you have a pimp when you when the woman initially meets the pimp, he's all nice to her, meaning the whole time he's grooming her. It's something like that. He's all nice to you in the beginning. Behind the scenes, he's dismantling your life little by little. Hoping that you don't catch on. But you know, your intuition is in the upright. You're, you're sharp as heck. You know what he's been doing. You know exactly what, you, what he's been doing. And you're putting an end to this chapter to have a new beginning. I'm telling you, you're in control. You knew the whole time what someone was doing. You're being practical about the situation. You are being practical. Like you know what to do, but you're being strategic about how you move. He's never met anyone like you. You come across as a queen of cups. So he said, that's a naive person. I can I can uh, manipulate them real easily. Not realizing the whole time you were playing them. You knew exactly what they were doing. You know, like the last person, someone you meet and they're the last one you ever expect to defeat you. That's what this is. And he's ashamed. He's ashamed. Someone is embarrassed. Someone is embarrassed. Okay? Someone is embarrassed. Yeah. And he's about to be going through a whole lot of loss. There's people in here going through a lot of loss. Someone in here is sick. Maybe dealing with some type of chronic illness they can't heal from. Someone is sick. Someone is sick. And someone's business is about to be down and under. All because of what they did to you. Try to, yeah. Someone's business is about to be down and under. Is that someone met you? And <laughs> they don't know they were being tested. How, which route they take, which path they took. Because it was destined for someone to come into their energy and manipulate them. Feed them some type of lie. And source was sitting back and watching and saying, oh, I'm going to see if he has learned his lesson, if he's going to turn over a new leaf. He didn't. And now it's the end. Someone is losing a lot. So you have a king of pentacles in here that's about to be losing a lot. You have another, there's two king of pentacles in here. I'm not going to touch on the other one, but one is going to be losing a lot. The king of swords, honey. Yeah, <clears throat> that King of Pentacles is trapped in something he cannot get out of now. He's at his final destination. Little does he know. Little does he, Karma, did you know that you trapped yourself? He's trapped himself. A woman of high... High honor, privilege is trapped too. She's toxic as heck. These people are toxic as heck. They're desperate. Someone is sick. 
and toxic. They don't know what to do to heal. They can't. They're having a hard time recovering. They're toxic. And he thought, someone in here thought, they're going to come in and give you an offer. You're going to accept it. So they could trap you in here. You're not meant for their mess. That's not your portion. Someone took a very impulsive action. Very impulsive. Say, oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. And source told them, don't do that. Oh, they did it anyways. They did it anyways. And now things are not going in their favor. <laughs> they say, I know, I know what to do. They trapped themselves. Block themselves. I know, I know what to do. I know what to do. No, you didn't know what to do. There are things that belong to Caesars. People in places, things <laughs> that belong to Caesars. And then there are some that do not belong to Caesars. There's a Queen of Cups in here that's not doing well at all. Someone is not doing well. She may not be recovering. Someone is stuck in her head. And even though she's going through all of this, she is still determined to end you. She's trapped in something, not experiencing any type of good karma. Things are not going in her favor. The time for her pretending to be something she's not is over. Absolutely over. It's redundant at this point. Someone thought they could switch destinies with you. They wanted to be seen as the high priestess, as the empress energy, the queen of cups. They're not. Someone is just toxic. They may have been working with a masculine behind the scenes that's been letting them pretend to be a high priestess, a, a, queen, a queen of cups, an empress energy. It said, just do this long enough. People are going to eventually believe that you are the queen of cups. No one's believing it. Because energy does not lie. No one believes this woman is the queen of cups. I'm telling you, did you see that almost... The, the, the uh, uh, seven of cups which yeah when i initially tried to split the deck this is what was showing she's a facade she's a fraud people see that okay people see that someone may have trapped themselves in type of some type of friendship group some type of friendship uh group Meanwhile, you're about to be connecting with your new soul tribe. They're out here celebrating and everything. They don't realize <laughs> it's over. Mm -hmm. It's a whole lot of manipulations going on here. Whole lot. This is the only way karmics are dark workers can get their way is through manipulation. They've been manipulating and manipulating and manipulating. And it's still not going in your favor. Okay? You still see them. It's that people are trying to mask themselves, but you still see them. You have a woman that's stalking you, may want to reach out to you. She can't. Someone betrayed your trust, either your friendship, something like that. Now they want to come in because things are falling apart. They realize that they're, they're stuck in something. People may even not want this person anymore in this group. So she may not want to come back towards you to show loyalty. You're not interested. Tell this person to stay where they are. You're not interested, I'm telling you. You're not interested. You extended some type of friendship to someone in the past. Maybe you even forgot about this person. And they betrayed that, tr that friendship. And now that they're being rejected by the very group that they betrayed you for, now they want to come back towards you. And you're looking at what? Where do they do that at? Where do they do that at? Mm -mm. Where 
do that do that at? Don't nobody tip on no dirty clothes and tip off no dirty clothes and put it back on. You crazy? Are you dumb? You guys to be. Yeah. And you have foresight of the whole situation. That's the part that bothers these people. You know everything. Who's doing what? Who is who? What they did? When they did it? Why they did it? You don't even care. At all. You don't care. You don't care. You're committing to different things that matter to you, to your future. You have foresight of everything and everyone. So whoever this practitioner is, nope, not working in your favor. King of Pentacles looks at you are losing quite a lot. You've trapped yourself. He's bonded to some type of contract. This man made some type of contract or agreement with another person or a toxic group and he's bonded to their contract. Someone didn't even listen to their intuition. They should have listened. Say so you're doing something and you're told, don't do that. It's just not going to turn out right. And they look at the person they're betraying and look at the person they're, that's making them the offer. They say, I want to go with this person. It seems more promising. But they already know it's not promising. Someone is about to be losing a whole lot. Yep. It was an illusion. It was an illusion. It was all a dream. He used to read World of Magazine. Sudden Pepper have a deal in the limousine. Listen. If someone was in the limousine, they're not going to be in the limousine anymore. If someone has a whole bunch of cars, you may want to downgrade. That devil came in your life and said, let me upgrade you, partner, partner. Let me upgrade you. And you sign on the dotted line only to realize they were deceiving you the whole time. And that's how the devil moves. And this person, whoever this is, this is them now living in fear and anxiety. Someone has a whole lot they're worried about behind the scenes. They stand to lose a whole lot more than they took from you. And this is you the whole time. <laughs> and they don't get it. That's why they don't understand how you this calm. Why are you this calm? Yeah, because you already know. They're trapped in their minds. They're in living in anxiety. Because two people are still coming together. Two people are still coming together. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Excuse me, folks. Oh, these cars are just hmm. They're just coming out. Listen. I'm being told to tell someone be be careful, be cautious, because someone is coming in here to cause some type of imbalance for you. They're not gonna get their wish. They wanna come in and flip. Like you know how the star is a balanced energy, a nurturing energy, kind. They're like wish fulfillment. Someone wants to take you out of their energy so that it's easier for them to manipulate you, for them to control you. So they want to take some type of impulsive action to come in and do that. The whole plan is to trap you. This is a plan by a whole family of people or a group, a couple, whatever it is. It don't matter. It's not coming into fruition. They're having a hard time doing this and they're going to keep having a hard time doing this. It's not coming into fruition. And they know that too. <clears throat> they know that. Yeah. 
they know that a new path, you're taking a new path. They didn't expect you to take a new path. They thought you were trapped. Someone has been going back to the group, reporting to the rest of the roaches. Yeah, I have him trapped. I have her trapped. Can't go nowhere. They're not planning to go anywhere. And then just for them to find out, oh, no. That's not what Source said. Source said, I got to get up out of here. You're not trapped. Someone is shocked that you took, you accepted a new offer somewhere else. You're moving on. They thought you were trapped in your mind. Someone has been doing a lot of work, mental work, manipulations behind the scenes to be seen in a light that was not theirs. They wanted you to see them as a friend, as someone who's genuine, someone who's a truth teller, someone who's healed. They're not. <laughs> It's all a manipulation. Someone manipulates a lot. That, that king of pentacles, he manipulates a lot. That's how he gets what he wants from people. Comes in, befriends you. And once he thinks the pathway is clear and he strikes you. He's not getting his wish. He is not getting his wish. He thought he had you trapped. He said, oh, she's not going nowhere. He's not going nowhere. They don't have any options. I've blocked everything. Any type of opportunities they were supposed to receive, I blocked. Anyone that, want, anyone that wanted to extend any type of friendship to them, I blocked. They can't go anywhere. And sources say, you look at you, pathetic little thing. Mm -hmm. Someone is, I don't know, someone is a piece of work. Like, they're really draining their energy, man. This man's energy is draining. I can literally, like, I can feel this person. Like, his heart is shut down. So you can't sympathize with this kind of person. There's, his heart space is like void. It's empty. It's nothing. Like, the physical material is there. But beyond that, there's nothing. It's void. I don't even know how else to say that. Someone's heart is void of emotions. All they do is manipulate. All they do is manipulate. But they weren't able to manipulate you. And that's rubbing them really wrong. They said, I've been able to manipulate everybody. I've been able to manipulate everybody. All I have to do is tell them that I can help them with their problems, make them go, make the problems go away, and voila. They're, they're, they're friends with me. That's not a friend, honey. That's not a friend. These people are trapped with this man. And they can't tell you they're trapped with him. Because they're going to get in trouble. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. But the star sea does not belong to Caesar. But Caesar feels entitled to the star sea. And Caesar is being humble. Someone feels entitled to you. <laughs> Someone feels entitled to you, but you don't have any type of emotions for this person. Someone thought because you were a queen of cups, an empress, a star sea, that you operated only from your heart space. No. It's crazy that at this day and age, in this day and age, people still don't understand these kinds of energies. They said, oh, I can play with their emotions. This person is easy to manipulate. Now realizing the whole time <laughs> they were under an illusion. And they don't know how it is that you know their tactics. Is that how is she doing this? How is he doing this? How does he know what I'm planning? How does he know? How does she know what my next move is?
Someone is confused and desperate. Confused and desperate. Zero, new start, new beginning, fresh start. Angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes, listen, and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow your guidance without any delay. Focus in war through meditation and prayer. I am observant. Three, you are an original in... I'm sorry. Yeah, you are an original, innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. I am imaginative. Okay. Eight. Your life, oh, I'm sorry, your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no others. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. By presenting the app and flow, the infinite loop of creation. I am successful. Some of these cards, they are missing words and letters. And is that okay? Let's look at this. You're still onto karma waters. Fresh start. Celebration. Making new alliances. Right? Forming new friendships, groups, and things like that. That are actually genuine. You all resonate on the same frequency. Right? Married men, some of you could be getting married and things like that. Infinite blessings from the universe, abundance, uh -huh, inheritances, spiritual blessings. Yeah. Anyways, folks, thank you for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.